Corn and soybean crop condition ratings tumble and prices increase. Joining us now is Kim Anderson, our grain marketing specialist. And Kim, give us an idea of what's been going on. Well, the USDA released the, the crop condition ratings. They lowered corn and soybean ratings, uh, the good to excellent, uh, 8% down to 48%. Uh, percent. The market was expecting the uh, ratings to drop about 5%. So of course prices increase. You look at uh, the winter wheat harvest, it's better than 75% complete. And spring wheat progress is ahead of normal, just like the winter wheat was. And Kim, this week I understand the International Grains Council lowered world wheat production and then raised corn and, and feed grain use. How did the markets react to that? Well, of course, higher prices. Uh, the, uh, the wheat, you know, they're still talking about lower production in China, lower production in the former Soviet Union countries, uh, mainly Kazakhstan, Russia, the Ukraine. Of course, that's going to be less uh, lower exports out of the Black Sea region, less export uh, competition for the United States, and of course, uh, lower U.S. Uh, wheat production. Uh, the, and also with the dryness in the weather, uh, they're looking at, they raise the demand, the world demand for corn and feed grains and that's going to try to pull more wheat into that feed grain market. Okay, and how much higher do you think prices will go and when do you think they'll actually reach their peak? Well, that's the million dollar question. Now, Allendale this week uh, came out with a report. They said that you look at uh, on short crops, normally the price peaks early in short crop years. If you look at corn on the average on drought years, that price is going to peak in late August and early September. Allendale, Allendale estimates that the Chicago Board of Trade December corn price is going to peak around 7 to $7.25. Uh, I looked at the market this morning and it was six dollars and sixty six cents our six 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 I think that's pretty good so we're we've got another oh thirty five to uh, sixty cents price increase in corn and we will probably about the same months with peaking in uh, late August and early September. Okay let's run down some of the facts here what is really happening with the market? Well I think that the facts I'm looking at is you look at uh, corn and feed grain stocks and the stocks to use ratio with the projected proje production right now, those uh, stocks and ratios are below average, below normal. But if you look at wheat, the stocks to use ratio and, and the stocks are about average to slightly above average. So that justifies the high corn prices. It doesn't justify the high wheat prices. What justifies high wheat prices now is that the market is protecting wheat as a food grain and it's trying to keep it out of the feed grain market. Okay, finally, your advice for Oklahoma producers? A third, a third, and a third. <laughs> Follow that marketing plan. Do not modify your plan just because we've got these rallies. If you hadn't sold some on this rally, I'd probably sell 10 or 15 percent, so I'd feel good. Otherwise, stay with your third, a third, and a third. Okay, Kim Anderson, thanks a lot. We'll see you next week.